Alrighty, so for this armor set, we have the shaman furs, the shaman leggings, we have the fur remnant, and the shining horned headband, and the great horned headband. I'm gonna keep these ones equipped for the video. So, oh, in order to even get to the enemies, first you must go kill the great general Star Scourge Radon. After you kill him, head to this area. Should be this area. There should be a bunch of floating rocks in the sky. That's how you know where you're in the right area. Go down the floating rocks. Make it to Nokron, the Eternal City. Head to the Mimic Tier boss fight. That's where I am right now. And from the Mimic Tier, we will head to the closest Grace to easily farm them. So simply follow my lead. I actually don't know if pressing spacebar will make makes torrent go faster. I think only pressing it once is needed. I don't know why I got a somber smithing stone, but I got a somber smithing stone. I don't know why. I very confused. Anyways, so as I said, just follow this path. Once you make it to the first shaman uh, doing music, Simply head to its left, and there will be a very, very close grace to them. Right here. Alrighty, so from the, uh, what's it called, Ancestral Woods grace, we will run down here. Let me grab my beam sword. Run down here, jump off the horse. Kill the shaman as fast as we can. Note that the shaman somehow does more melee damage than the ones holding melee weapons. Because a backhand is far stronger than whatever the weapon they are holding. Kill the two down here. Usually they aggro, this time they did not. Only one of them did. Simply kill the two down here. After that, you can go reset. However, if you don't feel like resetting and you want to kill some more, simply run over here. And there will be a set of three of uh, the regular horned enemies and one shaman. The archer will stay up there for a few seconds, but he will jump down eventually. Either once- oh god. Either once you kill everyone, yep. Or simply because of your range. Look, I already got the great horned headband. So the items they drop can be any- they have a lot of item drops, so this could take a while. As you can tell, they drop thin beast bones. The archer can drop arrows. They also will drop their weapons and their armor and that's what the difficult part is. You will get a ton of thin beast bones before you get their armor set. As you can tell they all wear the shaman leggings. The difference is that the shaman wears the shaman first which is like off the shoulder while the regular ones wear the fur remnant. And the shamans are the only ones that can drop the shining horned headband, while the regular ones will drop the great horned headband. So yes, there are also no gauntlets seen on them, and most likely there will be no gauntlet drops if they do not wear gauntlets. That's kind of how it went with the gladiator, I mean the duelist armor set. They only drop what they wear. I don't recommend doing the one enemies over there as they do not drop the shaman gear. The two over there are simply regular horned enemies. So yeah, that is the shaman armor set. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching!